Hey everyone, it's Ashley from Yoga For That. This week our affirmation is I am joyful and we're coming up to the start of December. That means buying gifts, that means going to parties, all of that fun stuff that comes with the holiday season. Whether you participate or not, it gets really busy. This week I wanted to offer a deep stretch class, so something a little bit slower, still inviting movement and breath, but taking moments of stillness as well. And maybe that'll translate into your day to day. Again, no need for props if you don't want them. You can have them, of course, if you'd prefer to have them for your practice. Having water nearby if you'd like. Having some music, you can always grab the playlist that I've created for this class. I'll put the link down below for that. And enjoy the class. Starting off in seated heels, just to the outside of the glutes. Low belly drawing in, shoulders rounding back, gazing forward, eyes open or eyes closed. Hands on the thighs, hands to heart, whatever feels most available today. Beginning to lengthen the body. Noticing the stress and tension beginning to melt away from the neck and the shoulders as you exhale. Inviting in your positive affirmation. One more big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Beginning to flutter the eyes open. From here, making your way to a tabletop shape. So hands come nice and wide. Shoulders are stacking over your wrists. Knees are underneath your hips. Toes can be tucked or untucked. Taking a nice soft bend into your elbows. Draw your low belly in. As you inhale, the lifting of your tailbone and opening of your heart forward. As you exhale, draw the low belly in, round the spine, relax the top of the head. Inhale to lift the tailbone, open the heart. Exhale to round. Inhale to lift the tailbone, open the heart. Exhale to round. Inhale, tailbone lifts, heart opens forward. Exhale to round. Last time you're in the hill, tailbone this heart open. Exhale to round. Holding here in a rounded spine, anchor through your palms, draw your low belly in. Breathe in between your shoulder blades and between the back ribs. Inhale, coming back to your neutral spine. Keeping the elbows soft, especially if you tend to hyperextend the arms. From here, taking hip circles, hips come over towards the right, hips towards the heels, and then towards the left. Falling into the rhythm of this movement. Noticing how it feels to move your body like Last time here. Coming through center and pause. Big breath in. Exhale, side out. Hips over to the left. Towards the heels and then towards the right. So just notice here if this side feels more or less open. One side will feel more naturally available. Relaxing the neck. Last round here. 
and coming to pause. Untuck your toes, big toes together to touch, knees slightly wider, and pressing hips towards the heels, coming into a child's pose. Arms can stay forward, relaxing your elbows to the earth. You can stack your hands underneath your forehead. Or option, elbows to floor, hands together at the nape of the neck. With your next exhale, release your hands back to the earth. And then make your way back to your hands and knees. From here, you're going to untuck your toes. Knees are underneath your uh, hips. And then walking your hands back towards your knees. And then coming to sit nice and tall. From here, you're going to take your hands behind you. Palms underneath the shoulders. And then draw the chest up as you roll the shoulders down the back. Keep your elbows soft. And allow your quads to stretch. You can gaze up, back for the throat opener, or chin towards the chest, depending how your neck feels in this position. Take one more big breath in. Exhale to stay. As you inhale, slightly engage your core and begin to walk back up your thighs. From here, walking back out to that tabletop foundation. Hands will walk slightly further forward from the shoulders. Tuck your toes, lifting your hips up and back, downward facing dog. If you need to move in this foundation, you're welcome to walk your dog out. You can bring movement, shifting forward and back to plank. Or just breathe in this foundation. Taking one more round of breath. Exhale, side out. With an inhale, coming high on your toes, bend your knees, exhale, step, walk, or hop forward. With an inhale, lengthening the spine, heart reaching forward. Exhale to release, forward fold, relaxing hands towards the earth, hands to backs of legs or opposite elbows, and relax the crown of the head. Feeling free to sway side to side, back and forth, or shake the head, yes or no. Focus in the breath into the back of the hamstrings. One more big breath in. Exhale to release the hands. With an inhale, begin to ragdoll to stand, rising one vertebrae at a time. As you reach the top, rolling shoulders down the back, palms face forward, mountain pose. Relaxing the shoulders, knees are soft, low belly engaged. Feeling the earth underneath the feet. You need to rock more of your body weight into your heels. As you inhale, lengthening the crown of the head towards the sky. Drawing the tailbone slightly down to find the length in your low back as the shoulders continue to draw down your back. Take one more big breath in. Exhale, side out. As you inhale, reach the hands above your head, these might follow. As you exhale, dive over the thighs. Inhale to find the length of the spine. Exhale to release, plant your palms, step back to your plank foundation. Knees come down to the earth. 
shift slightly forward and lower the belly to the floor. Untuck your toes, inhale, baby cobra, shoulders draw down and back. Exhale to release. Inhale to baby cobra, maybe gaze towards the right. Exhale to release. Inhale to lift the chest, maybe gaze to the left. Exhale to release. One more time through center. Inhale, baby cobra or full cobra. Broaden the chest. Exhale to release. Tap the toes. Pressing back through hands and knees, tabletop. Walk the hands underneath your shoulders. Big breath in. Exhale, side out. Untuck the toes, walk your hands towards the knees, come to sit on the shins. From here, simply taking some shoulder rolls, so drawing the shoulders up towards the ears. And then shoulders draw down the back. Last one here. And pause, switching directions, shoulders up towards the ears, and draw the shoulders forward. Last time here. And pause. Take the hands behind your back. Clasp the hands together, keeping the low back drawing down. Draw the fist down towards the floor as you draw the chest forward and open. Gaze might come down, forward, or up towards the sky. Now, of course, you can close your eyes here. Begin to focus the breath into your collarbone. Last big breath in. Exhale to let it go. Draw the gaze forward, release your hands. Taking the hands forward, clasp your hands together, send the palms forward, and then draw the shoulder blades apart as you press the palms in front of you. Draw the gaze down towards your thighs and begin to breathe into your shoulder blades. One more big breath in. Exhale, release your hands. Gaze comes back forward. Taking another quad stretch here. Palms come to the floor. Palms underneath the shoulders. So you might take this same variation of lifting your chest up, drawing the shoulders down, not hyperextending the arms. Or you're welcome here to lift your hips off your heels, helping to intensify the stretch of the quads. Now, if you have any pain in your knees, please feel free to bring the hips back down towards the heels. So not working through pain or discomfort, just allowing the stretch of the quads. One more big breath in. Exhale to release. And then just walking the hands back up to your thighs. Taking a moment to pause. Big breath in. Exhale, sigh it out. As you feel ready, making your way back to your downward dog foundation. So fingertips spread nice and wide. Tuck your toes, lifting your hips up and back. Keeping your knees soft, hips reaching towards the wall behind you. 